All right, Keith, we said it earlier, we are running out of ways to toss to you because it's just not much to talk about in the weather. I've been struggling too. Like, um, I, I came, I like being here. I love Maine, but also I like that it has interesting weather. And I, I pr fully appreciate this, but I do, I could not do this full time. Like, sure. You if know this what I mean? was what it was every single yes, day of the year. Yes. Yeah. I once entertained a job in Southern California. This is a while ago. Don't get upset. Okay. And, um, <laughs> and I was like, that was the main factor is my wife was like, what are you going to do? Like, I don't think this is good. Yeah. Put your feet up, I guess. Yeah, right? but I just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I, that's what summer's for. Beautiful, though. I mean, today was a very summery day, mid-80s. Look at Freiburg, 87 degrees for a high. It's a big number for mid-September. Sanford, too. Portland, 83. That's a plus 12 temperature anomaly. Expected a little bit more high thin cloudiness than we got today. You can start to see it there into York and southern Cumberland County, but most of us stayed sunny all day. And the, the way you remember that today was not actually summer is the sunset, right? In 645 or so, the sun starts to set, depending on your exact location. So tomorrow is going to be another dry day. High thin clouds starting to come over the top of this ridge. The battle between this ridge and this subtropical low um, is going to determine whether or not we get showers on Thursday. I'll be honest, the stakes are not high here. We're talking about some scattered showers or no rain at all. But looking at the next seven days, this is our only chance of rain that's in that forecast. So tonight, temperatures are in the 50s, a couple of 40s, maybe Berlin, Rangeley, Eustis, that area. Tomorrow, we start with a lot of sun. We get to about 80, maybe even 85 inland. We should start to see more clouds by tomorrow afternoon, especially over southern Maine. And uh, just around sunset, they thicken up into some mid-level cloudiness. Now, this particular model pretty much keeps all the showers offshore. You can see them just right back there down into um, kind of off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And that is a possibility. It's possible that all these showers stay to our south. The global models have a slightly different picture here, though. They do bring just a couple of showers into southern uh, Maine, southern coastal Maine, especially Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. So that's what our forecast looks like. But again, the stakes are not super high here. We're just talking about are we going to break a few showers off across southern Maine or are we not going to? And we're going to go another six or seven days without rain. European model, the one that showed the rain offshore, doesn't show a lot of total moisture here. All zeros, any of the uh, accumulating rainfall is down to our south. One thing we do know is once that storm moves away from us, temperatures will fall into the 60s for the most part over the weekend into early next week. So it'll feel more like fall this weekend, certainly than it did today. A little bit more the vibe that I know Zach is going for, um, where it's, you can embrace the fall wardrobe over the weekend. Um, it looks pretty good into next week. And so, I mean, we talked about the stakes here about the last time Portland had any measurable rain was 10 days ago. Okay, so we're going to go another day for sure tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If we miss the shower on Thursday, then we go another six days. We're going to be going uh, more than half the month, you know, without any version of rain. Wow. So we're sitting at 0 0.01 right now. <laughs> How does that compare to other, other uh, years? Uh, so as of tomorrow, it is the driest start to September on record. Wow. Um, and 0.3 inches total is the driest September ever. We have 0 0.01 right now, so we got a chance. I don't know yeah. if this kind of record we want to break, but we've no. got a chance to, to win that. Win okay. That, yeah. All right. Thanks, Keith.